AI gold rush is here. The death of Google and smartphones has arrived. Vertical AI agents are about to start replacing the entire teams. The world as we know it is about to change forever. Just consider the rate of change in new models and techniques. It's clear that we haven't hit the scaling wall. Every few months, things just keep getting progressively better. But I don't want you to get left behind. So I'm going to break down the biggest opportunities that you can capitalize on and get rich during this 2025 AI revolution, even if you're starting from zero. Now, before you can start making money, you need to figure out what niche you're going to target with your AI services. If you already have your niche, you can skip this step. The best way to pick a niche is to start with what you know. What do you like? What are you passionate about? If you pick something that you're not that passionate about, you're not gonna put in the time and energy. In addition to that, you wanna look up the other companies in that vertical that you're passionate about. Look at their stock price. Look specifically for their market cap. The larger their market cap, hopefully well into the billions, if not tens of billions or hundreds of billions, the bigger of the opportunity it is. And although I said pick a niche, you wanna pick a subset of that market and eventually you'll wanna expand to that larger market, which opens up more revenue generation opportunity for you. Think about your skill sets. Are you great at video production, design, creating content, math, science? What are you genuinely interested in or excited about? If you go into an area that's boring, you will burn out and you won't put in the time and effort that's needed to be successful. Successful. But the key is to not go too broad. If you go after everyone, it's hard to make money because it's too time intensive and too costly to do that. It doesn't mean that you can't eventually go after everyone, but at the beginning, you wanna start with the niche and then expand. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking about like Facebook or Amazon and how they work for everyone. But if you go back, remember that Facebook was originally for Ivy League University students and Amazon originally only sold books. Okay, now we've got a niche. We can go through the five biggest opportunities for making money with AI this year, starting with AI agents. AI agents. Agents are emerging as- Agents are the thing everyone is talking about. More AI agents. The opportunity for agents is gigantic. Think of it this way. If ChatGPT, Gemini, Grok, etc., are like the brain, the AI wow. agents are like the body that can actually go and do things on their own. For example, here's an agent that can match resumes to job posts and apply to jobs automatically. There are hundreds and thousands of businesses that are looking to use AI agents this year, and you can build them even with no existing coding or tech expertise. You can go to websites like crewai.com and start building AI agents that can execute specific tasks for businesses in your target niche. Things like sales, marketing, analytics, or even finance. With sales AI agents, they help you do things like analyze the score of a lead by looking at things like interactions, engagements, or even patterns. This way, your team knows what leads to prioritize and which leads to ignore. The last thing you wanna do is pay sales reps to talk to leads that won't ever convert into customers. And when it comes to marketing, Marketing, everyone knows that personalized experiences convert better. With marketing-driven AI agents, they can help you personalize the copy, the content that you're showing to each individual, which will cause you to convert more of those visitors or followers into leads and customers. You can appeal to different audience segments, which will help improve your conversion rates as well. With analytics, AI agents can help pinpoint the right kind of traffic that's generating the best revenue for you. Just because one customer buys from you and another buys from you, it doesn't mean they're equal. The first customer may come back 10 times and continually buy from you, while the second customer may only buy once from you. You ideally want the right customers that keep buying from you over and over again. AA agents can help you find them by telling you where to focus your marketing efforts. When it comes to finance, AI agents can tell you the lifetime value of your customers and your campaigns. It can even show you which campaigns create the highest lifetime value and which campaigns aren't profitable. So that way you can stop the bleeding and focus not just on revenue growth, but profitability. The second high potential opportunity I'd recommend to make money with AI is translation services. The world is increasingly become globalized. The most successful businesses and brands are international. They're not US, they're not Australian, they're not Chinese, they're not Indian. You think Tesla, Coca-Cola, Nike, these are all examples of global brands. A great example that everyone can relate to is Mr. Beast. His channel is in different languages. Apple's website is also in different languages. Even our own website, NP Digital, is in multiple languages because that helps us make more revenue. There's more people overseas than there are in the United States. The US may have the highest GDP, but if you combine the rest of the world, 
there's more money than if you just focus on the United States. This is really high potential because most people don't know anything about other languages. They just know about the languages that they speak in and that's it. The opportunity is huge. The way I would consider doing it, whether it's with your website, blog, social media content, or even videos, you can use 11 labs and they can translate and transcribe all of your content and audio into different languages for you. And all these other businesses want it, so you can start doing it for them as well. My third idea to get rich on AI this year is AI podcast services. The global podcast market is projected to grow from 36.28 billion in 2024 to 47.83 billion in 2025 at a compounded annual growth rate of 31.8%. And it's projected to reach 134.68 billion by 2029. There are two specific ways to leverage AI to offer podcast services. You can turn people's blog articles and newsletters into podcasts by cloning the person's voice and then feeding the written content into text to voice software. You can even earn bonus cash for doing the person's publishing and marketing for them. The second thing you can do with podcasting and AI is you can take people's long form clips, upload them into Opus AI and get short form clips that you can upload for social media. Here's the key. Take that long form clip and upload it multiple times. You'll then get a lot of recommendations for short form clips and that way you can pick and choose the best ones. Ones. In essence, you're combining AI with your skills and your knowledge. Opportunity number four for getting rich with AI in 2025 is AI data visualization. Beautiful images that help people understand complex data. For example, there's these things called infographics. Infographics take up all this complex data and helps people understand it in a visual. For example, the meaning of colors. In that infographic, you can explain what each color represents, what it means, how it impacts conversions, what type of brands and industries should use different types of colors. This all helps people understand complex things in easy to understand ways. The reason companies are willing to pay for this is A, these kind of pieces of content go viral on the internet. B, they generate a lot of backlinks, which helps companies rank higher on Google. And C, when people understand complex information, they're much more likely to convert into a customer. So it's increasing conversion rates as well. The way you can end up doing this through AI is you can take all the data sets you have, put it into a picto chart, and it can help you create beautiful infographics through AI. The fifth big AI money-making opportunity this year is AI website building. And honestly, it's like stealing candy from a baby. It's so easy. Even though businesses could easily create a website themselves, like through 10web.io, they either don't know it exists or they're too lazy to do it themselves. You can target newly formed LLCs who aren't going to care about having a super elaborate website and will just want something that works and looks decent. Now with this idea, there's going to be a lot of competition. So it's important that you get good enough to be better than 99% of the people out there. The way you get really good at this is to try to create a lot of websites yourself. When you go through the step-by-step -step tutorial on 10web.io, you'll find that certain prompts give better outputs. Certain prompts give terrible outputs. When you try it more than a handful of times, like if you spend three, four hours on it, eventually you'll get good where you'll know what prompts and what to put in to give people the output and website that they're looking for. You can also earn bonus cash if you provide SEO optimization and blog content for their website. People will pay for this. It costs a lot of money to advertise in Google. So why wouldn't companies want that traffic without spending a dollar on ads? And for you, keep in mind that it's easier to get an existing customer to pay you more than it is to find a new customer. Now, obviously the most important part of all these AI business models is actually getting customers. When I was in high school, what I would do is I would run right home after school. I would get home around three o'clock. I would go on Google and call all the people that were spending money on ads. And I would hit them up and offer them services. Majority of them would say no. But then I started telling people, if you like what I produce, pay me. If not, don't pay me. And once I built up enough of a, base of case studies, I was then able to go to people and showcase the results that I produce and then charge people instead of offering them free work and only getting paid if they liked it. If I could do this when I was 16 years old, anyone can. For example, you can go to Crunchbase and see all the new founded companies and hit them up and offer services. These companies just raise money. When someone raises money, their investors expect faster growth. So if you can just go to them and offer to do the work for them, they're more likely to pay you than try to do it on their own because the thing that they value the most is time. There's so many channels, you have tons of opportunities, but if I were starting from one, I would target the recently funded companies on Crunchbase because they have no choice but to spend the money fast to cause more growth. If this helped you think differently about the future marketing, check out my video on how to dominate against AI competition in 2025.